dense. What dense means? A dense liquid like honey is heavy, thick, and slow moving. A dense person is heavy, thick, and slow moving. Has <laughs> a heavy, thick, slow moving, small brain. Ooh. A mug of dense honey is much heavier than a mug of water. Dense means having more mass. Dense. With an S. Density is in grams divided by centimeter cubed. Density. Grams per. Grams per. Centimeter cubed is how to say G forward slash CM3. <coughs> Air is the least dense fluid you can put in a mug. Gold is the most dense material you can put in a mug. To measure the density of gold, you put 10 centimeters cubed of water in the measuring cylinder, in a measuring cylinder, then drop in a gold ring, gold ring. The measuring cylinder now says 11 centimeters cubed. So the gold ring's volume was one centimeter cubed. You put water into a measuring cylinder up to where it says 10. You add in a gold ring and now it says 11. The water goes up because the ring's volume has gone up. If your measuring cylinder is milliliters, measuring cylinder is in millimeters, one millimeter one milliliter, milli, milliliter is the same as one centimeter cubed. And 10 milliliters, ml, is 10 centimeters cubed. Milliliters is for capacity and centimeters is for volume. Milliliter, R-E-S. Uh, in America, it's ERS, I think. Capacity and centimeter ERS. RES in the rest of the world, ERS in America. It's for volume, but it's silly that we have both because they're always the same. Weigh the dried ring. Yeah, dry it out first so you know that you're not weighing drips of water. Weigh the dry ring, it is 19 grams. So gold's density is 19 grams divided by one centimeters cubed. Oh, can we see that? 19 divided by one is 19 grams per centimeters cubed. That's density of gold. Gold is 19 times more dense than water. Yeah, density of water, density. Density of water is one gram per centimeter cubed. Uh, it, they did that to make it easy. That's how it, grams were designed. Dense materials have heavy weight in a small volume. This is easy to remember because dense people have a heavy small volume brain. Oh, this is nasty, this one. I hadn't realized I'd made such a nasty one. Density is worked out by weight divided by volume. Unpack the air balloon. Use a fan to blow some cold air inside. Yeah, this is how you make an air balloon work. Now, turn on the burners to heat up the air. The hot air expands to fill the whole balloon with hot air. The hot air balloon goes up because dense cold air is pulled down by gravity more than hot air. Hot air balloons float on top of cold air. Yeah, the cold air is heavier 
cold air gets pulled down by gravity. Hot air is also pulled down, but pulled down less. Helium balloons are less dense than air, so helium balloons float to the top of air to float. What goes up must come down is not true of helium atoms. The gravity is not enough on a helium atom, so they float off into space. Hey, I knew that bit. Going down. Wood floats on water because wood, wood has a density of less than one gram per centimeters gram per centimeters crew density. Modern ships are made of heavy steel, iron, steel. Add the carbon to the iron to make it stronger. Use steel. Oh, heavy steel. But so long as no one puts a hole in the ship, it will float on water. Ships float because they don't let the water in. If water gets in, if water does get in, the water replaces the air in the bottom of the ship and the ship sinks. When its density is more than one gram for each centimeter cubed. Meter. A steel pin is very light, but it is very, very thin. Divide weight by volume for steel gives a density of steel. Gives a density of seven grams per centimeters cubed. Drop a pin in the bath, it sinks, or in any other container of water, it sinks. But a plastic duck floats in water because the air inside makes it, you got it, makes the duck's density less than one gram per centimeters cubed. Things that have a density of less than one float. Things that have a density more than one sink. The science of density was invented before the science of space travel. So density can be calculated using, whoa, density. Weight or mass. For space travel, scientists know weight is in newtons and mass is in kilograms. Yeah, this is when we got a difference between mass and weight was when we went to space. Oh, the questiony bits. Water has a density of uh, gram centimeters cubed. Well, water's the only one that you have to remember. Water is one gram per centimeters cubed. Uh, gram per cent cent R E centimeters cubed. Gold sinks because it has a density of gold nineteen grams per centimeters cubed. Definitely, definitely sinks. Wood floats because wood's density is less than the magic number one gram per centimeters cubed. Anything swoops, floats, it must be less than one. Floats on water. Helium, H -E is helium, it's the symbol for helium. Helium. Balloons and hot air balloons float on air because their density is less than air. Yeah. Density equals mass divided by mass volume. Or put it another way, density equals weight divided by volume. Yeah, you can use either sets of units. You've still got the same number. Good! That's all about density.
Ooh, it started a bit harsh though, didn't it? This is my card. I live in Hong Kong. I'm a teacher at the West Island School from 1997 to 2000. Now I'm working at the Australian International School in the daytime and at weekends in the evenings I tutor in people's homes. I come to their home and help them out with their physics, their maths, their chemistry and their biology. Uh, but I don't do IB biology. My name's Gary Stevens, 980-68342. Or probably best, get your mum and dad to email me at goodluckgaryhk at gmail.com.